Charlie Gasparino here with us right now. Um, he's up in the ante. Right. Um, the shutdown continues and on and on. What do you think? And it comes as he's likely to, I say likely just because of the conversations I hear that's going on, he's likely to get a, at least a moderate Democrat to throw his head, hat in a ring. I mean, what I can tell you about Joe Biden, the former vice president, is this. Over the last year, since I think January, he's been having pretty serious discussions with Wall Street executives who would be part of his inner circle of fundraising. Guys like Jim Chanos, I think Bob Wolf would be in there. Mm -hmm. uh, lot, mostly on the hedge fund side, but you know, the banks, are t uh, he's reaching out to people at the banks too. And um, basically discussing money raising uh, you know, to run for president against, against Trump. Uh, he prefaced his, his desire to run in these initial uh, sessions with these Wall Street guys on the fact that I'm not going to go in there if Trump, for some reason, drops out. Like, if he had an existential threat, you know, and he wasn't going to run, uh, I'm not going to go in there. But if he does run, because they're both about the same age, the age factor would be negated. Right. He, Biden's he, 76, right? Yeah, and Trump would be 72, 72 yeah. 73. Uh, uh, that would that the age would be negated, so he can he has a shot at it, and he will, according to the Wall Street executives I speak with, he will get the money. They he's not going to be it's not going to be for lack. What do you think he would? Or are they telling you that he would chase away some of these other candidates on a run? Um, he, he's the most formidable of any of them. Right. Um, he's the one that is most moderate. Now Wall Street guys like the moderation. Right. They don't like. The uh, uh, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez 70% upper right. tax bracket t crowd and Elizabeth Warren war and the banks crowd, so you know they think he's the guy that can that can bridge the gap between Wall Street Democrats, more moderate Democrats, uh, blue collar voters who who went to Trump. If you notice in the states, and you know this, I'm not saying that he's a perfect candidate because as you know, Joe Biden has his, and he's uh, run twice and he's had his moments over the years, right? right? right. And not done well. When but if you notice where the Democrats really did well in the in the midterms, they won a, with a lot of moderate blue collar type Democrats in Pennsylvania and stuff. Right. So there is, you know, you could see how he can put together a coalition to do it. Um, the Trump forces will attack him with everything, all his crazy remarks. Uh, there is a false narrative that they're putting out there. To, I, I guess it's to negate the Trump sex, sexism and some of the cra this stuff he's, he's done with women that Joe Biden is some sort of a gro serial groper. You see that on the internet constantly. You have to think those are Russian bots revving up to basically put out that false narrative that this guy is bad when it comes to women and it negates the Trump stuff, the Access Hollywood and some of his other, uh, some of his other doings. Uh, so I see that None already. Of it. The stuff it's in about Joe Biden has come close to... Well, none of the stuff that's real. The right. stuff that right. you see by these Russian bots and others is obviously fake news and, you know, they... they... But you mentioned something, Keen, about what's going on in some of these swing states that Donald Trump would have a tough time even now winning again. I, you you know, know, just how they did in the midterms. Right? Yeah, if you look at the midterms, if you get, like, a, a, a semi-moderate person in there... That's a Democrat. I, I, listen, I, I think like an Obama moderate, <laughs> as progressive as he was, yeah. you know, if it wasn't Elizabeth Warren, Ocasio-Cortez, you know, Kamala Harris, who came out the other day and said some guy is not, uh, I think she criticized the judge because he belonged to the Knights of Columbus. I mean, this is really loopy stuff coming out of the left. If you had someone like that, it could resonate. He will have the money. Now, I'm not saying he's going to do it. I mean I, I mean, I think the last time Joe Biden didn't run was obviously because of his son. His son is right. dying of cancer. But his son also told him, he gave him some confidence to go for it at some point um, uh, on his deathbed, apparently. So, um, but, you know, there might be something for any of the candidates looking at it. Carl Icahn is right, uh, chatting about, I'm worried about all the debt. I'm worried about something like this. Uh, that, that could be a very big worry, no matter who's running. And I'm wondering how that issue, the volatility that, that it could bring and, and, and the, the likelihood of going two years without any of this coming to rear its ugly head, it would be tough for the incumbent. What do you make of that? Yeah. Um, listen, you know, there's, it's two years is a, is a, is a long and time. Eternity. Donald Trump has uh, to worry about Mueller. He has to worry about his own very, very big unfavorables. He's done almost nothing to expand his base. He places his base on everything, and maybe that's good if you're about to get impeached, but it's maybe not good if you want to, you know, get reelected as president. Uh, the midterms hurt. They lost a lot of seats in areas that he won. 
I mean, it's lining up that if they run, the Democrats run a legitimately normal candidate, not a Kamala Harris who's you know, off the but reservation. But, you know, they've grabbed the feet from the jaws of victory. That's what I'm saying. So and, 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 jo and Joe Biden, you know, he, his statements over the years, he's made yeah. some, he said some things, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Nothing like what Trump has said, but and maybe Donald Trump has taken the bar and you know, define deviancy so down, it doesn't matter all the crazy stuff that you. But in other words, <laughs> it's not a given. Anything could happen. No. Um, so I'm not saying I'm not saying Biden's going to run. I'm just telling you that he's been talking about this, and we've been reporting it okay. intimately since the beginning of the year. Indeed, and the, you have. And the Wall Street guys they say he'll have the money. Yeah. Well, he has certainly the name recognition, the stature, and all of that. And people. And by the way, people like him. Yeah. As they do you. <laughs> uh, well, that's a, right, uh, <laughs> a joke. Funny joke. It's a funny joke. I'm kidding.